Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial for ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. Before I proceed with my next topic, just one thing that I would like to continue from my previous tutorial for the harvester would be uh, just go ahead and check what re result would you get if you go ahead and run the facebook.com. So you might be wondering that you would get lots of uh, things, but no. You won't get lots of things. The reason being that it's not getting the email IDs from the database. It's only getting the email IDs of the people or the person who go ahead and mail out stuff to you. Like from the help side or the warning side or any other thing that the Facebook wants you to know. So uh, you might be thinking that the way you got multiple things from Google, you'll get the same thing from the Facebook, but it won't. The reason being that Facebook has kept it much more, tried to keep it much more secure by lowering uh, as low as they can for the minimum amount of uh, email IDs they have. So this is through one, uh, but we'll just go ahead and check through all and let's see if we get the same thing. And so you can see we have two email IDs and we have a total, a total of five hostname IP addresses. So this is the mtouch is for the I believe uh, it's for the cell phones uh, again this is for the cell phone without touch normal facebook the developers and the blog one let's check what we get over here i believe we did not get anything in the pgp server so and bing has lots of results i believe because even in the first 50 results it got something Let's go ahead and start the normal term of the harvester. And let's check whether it goes through Shodan. Okay. No, I believe it does not go through Shodan. Perfect. So as you can see that when I went ahead and tried to use... Okay, I have loads of other things. I tried to use all of these things. I got n number of email IDs than the one I got over here. So these are, I believe, some of them may be the administrator, some may be uh, the person who are trying to go and uh, keep a uh, network on the chat or trying to keep them safe. So the firewall uh, people. So th these these are the list of all the people who go and manage the Facebook from day to day. So yeah, it's good enough. I can see as far as I can see. Fine. So now this is just for uh, this is through a social networking website. If you go ahead and check the same through any random company. So let's check some of the big short companies. Let me think mm, we have Microsoft. No, I want some random companies. Let's check what do we get. And perfect. So uh, let's go ahead and take this website. Believe my my connection is a bit slow. I'll just type Indian. Okay. Let me check whether my Google is working or not. Okay, it is working. Okay, perfect. So I won't go over there, but now you know how you can go ahead and get uh, all the IDs or the uh, email IDs if you're looking at it uh, from a company's point of view, you can gather multiple things. And yesterday I also showed you one more thing which is related to who is and uh, you can go ahead and gather a lookup over here. But again, if you're using Google and if you're going ahead and uh, gather information, your efforts can still be traced. So there is one better thing rather than searching it over here i can go ahead and do the same thing over here on my terminal so i'll just uh, clear everything and i'll type who is and i'll type google.com or i'll just type a better one microsoft.com since that is a more private company than google perfect perfect so even without using any kind of uh, tool I just went ahead and typed who is google.com and it gave me all the information. So it starts from over here. Server name is microsoft.com or uh, goddamn okay I'll just ignore that. So uh, IP addresses and this is the fake one I believe that's the reason it gave me and I have okay 
fine. So the uh, as you can see that any random website that starts with Microsoft.com are given over here, even if it's a fake one. So as you can see that these are a bit abusive, but they are a fake. That's the reason it is still gave it out because these are the fake one. Only the ones uh, ending with Microsoft.com are the real one. Everything else is fake. So you can go. Uh, so this is better than just go, uh, going ahead and searching over the web because the web will only give you a specific, or it will go ahead and narrow it down to the original Microsoft.com. Whereas uh, when you go ahead and try it uh, Linux, uh, it will go ahead and give you all the website that starts with Microsoft.com. So you can also go ahead and check. Uh, let's say google.com and you will get even the fake websites created by us or which are the names which are similar to google.com and yes as you can see that these are the fake addresses and so next time if you get any kind of mail from these addresses make sure that you know that these are fake and these are not the real one we can check the who is server the directory and if you want to gather much more information then you can just type who is and you can type help okay let me check okay and you can go ahead and tag all these things to get a much better information about any random thing that you're trying to get so uh, that would be it from this end for um, who is and uh, the previous one now I'll be reporting up next to uh, DNS enum which is quite a useful tool and I showed you again yesterday several tools related to DNS information gathering but this time we would be doing it through again our terminal and so there is a separate tool for all DNS analysis in Kali Linux and as you can see I'll be teaching you all of these things starting with the smallest one and the first one and I, I may leave out one or two if I think that they are not that good in collecting information but I'll st still teach you the most important ones so as you can see we have loads of other tools and we will almost be learning 90% of them in these tutorials uh, starting from now on so these are vulnerability analysis for the websites checking how secure they are these are for the web applications running online these are offline attacks and password attacks can be much faster if you have a graphic card with you because mostly most of the times or uh, almost all of the times password attacks are cracked by cracked by graphic cards the reason being that they are much faster than a normal cpu that's why so we have your wireless tools exploitation tools sniffing spoofing maintaining access reverse engineering and many more so starting with the dns enum 